What's happening? It's your man Big Take doing big things. Y'all know what it is. ATL Hawks official DJ and Rap City forever. You're checking out the Three Point Conversion Radio. You dig? Yeah. Right. Oh, man. I feel much better now uh, than I did. That's for sure. Um, the last two days have been really good as far as getting some cardio back, get my wind back. Um, you know, I think that's going to be just something I'm going to have to work through here the first couple of weeks. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll work through it. But like I said, I, I'm actually glad that we had the time that we did um, after that last preseason game so I can get a chance to get in some live action and practice and um, those types of things because, I mean, it was – I was I was down for the count for a little while. <clears throat> yeah. Um like I just mentioned, I mean I think it we were it was very unfortunate and unlucky to have some of the stuff that we had happen in preseason as far as guys not being able to uh play all the games. But I'm glad that we've had this this you know week here or whatever um to kind of get ourselves ready. And uh that's what we've tried to do. The last couple of days have been really good for us. Um today was really good. Hopefully tomorrow will be really good. And uh then we'll be, you know, good to go. I know. Well, I think try to look at it as glad to have it happen in preseason and not in the regular season. So, um, you know, now I'm vaccinated and coming off of COVID. So I, I think I should be good to go. Um, you never know with this thing. It seems like it's um, the variants with the variants and everything changing so rapidly. I mean, you just don't know, but um yeah, it's just unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know uh, how I happened to catch it, but um, like I said, glad that I did when I did, I guess. You know, I should be good for the season. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I mean, you kind of said it yourself, certainly want to take this thing, you know, one game at a time. Um, you know, we want to be better than we were last year. I think uh, last year we showed moments and we had flashes. I think this team is really, really versatile. we got a lot of weapons, a lot of guys that can make plays. Um, defensively, we should be we should be really good with our versatility. Um, you know, we just we have to we have to buy into uh, the, the coaches staff's game plan, try to execute it, um, you know, and then you want to be playing your best basketball towards the end there and fight your way into the playoffs. And then, you know, when you get into the playoffs, it's a brand new season and you, and you focus on that. But for us, we got to be focusing on getting better each game, getting better each week. Um, I think if we have the mindset of, of just improving the other stuff generally takes care of itself. Um, but certainly you're looking forward to this year with the guys that we have and, um, you know, ready to get it, to get, get it going. It's been uh, a long time for me just with the injury last year, the way that it ended being out. So, um, and then having COVID here would have, would have been nice to have a couple more preseason games, but it's just the way it works. And, uh, you know, we'll move forward and get ready for Wednesday. Gordon, as much as you can feel comfortable, <clears throat> what was your journey through the COVID thing like? Yeah, um, it was not fun. Uh, you know, I've had the whole gambit of symptoms. Thankfully, I did not lose the taste or smell. So, I mean, that was that was good. So I didn't I felt like I feel like I didn't lose too much weight. I did lose a little bit, but, um, you know, hopefully be able to gain that back. But, you know, general, you know, body aches, headaches were pretty brutal fever, um, the chills, you know, going from hot, cold, hot, cold. The isolation is tough, too, because you're you know, I was by myself and my little ones don't quite understand um, why they can't see me. They know I'm, I'm there, but they can't go over and, 
and see me or give me a hug or anything like that. And so it's tough on them as well uh, as it was tough on me. But um, yeah, just I think generally the symptoms that you hear people have with COVID is, is I, I had them all. Yeah, yeah, I, I plan on providing a contribution. I hope that I, I do that. Um, you know, I think it's going to be one of those things where I'll have to see how it goes. That's why these last couple of days have been really good for me to get up and down. Certainly, there's going to be moments where I'm out of breath and I might have to, you know, get a little break. But um, generally, that's how the first game goes anyways, because everyone's got all this adrenaline and you're all hyped up and, um, you know, you're just you're, you're going 100 miles an hour. So um, I think we'll just see how it goes. Um, hopefully I'll be, I'll be good. Yeah. Um, certainly I think that's in the back of everyone's mind, the way that the season ended and it being against Indiana too. Um, you know, I think we're more, more than, more than anything, trying to get off on a, to a good start here. Um, you know, we want to play well and, um, especially for the home crowd. I think when you're home, open, when your home opener is your first game, you really want to want to play well. So we're not going to put too much pressure on it though. I mean, it's the first game and, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to do our best and hopefully come out on top. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. For the first time in a long time, it seems like the city is generally behind the team, knowing what they have product wise on the court. <clears throat> you guys feel like you've seen that love from Charlotte so far. What's it been like to kind of like reading about what you guys are going to do this season? Um, you know, I, I felt the love last year, um, even from a distance from everybody, um, on zoom and, you know, uh, just the, the buzz around the city, walking around a little bit. I know we weren't walking around too much because of COVID, but, um, you know, certainly it seems like, um, you know, the city is behind us and supporting us. And I, I actually don't read anything, whether it's good or bad. So I have no clue what people are saying, but, uh, you know, I know what our expectations internally are, and you know, we we feel like um, we we have a lot to accomplish this year, so we're going to do our best. So Sorry, <laughs> no disrespect. Hello, Gordon. How are you? Hey, man. I would like to ask you: Did you see any kind of growth about your partnership with Lamelo during this training camp? And for you, do you feel that you have a chip on your shoulder this season? Uh, to answer the first question, I think I heard it right as do what did I see any growth from LaMelo? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think you can see the um, the game slowing down for him a little bit. Um, he's starting to control it a little bit better. And I think he'll just continue to, you know, improve that facet of his game, being kind of the the, the point guard out there, getting guys to their spots. Um you know, really dictating the pace and the flow of the game. So I've, I've seen some growth in that area from him. Um, as far as, you know, me personally playing with the chip on my shoulder, I generally play, feel like I play that way. I think it's it's just about playing hard, um, you know, trying to do my best out on the court. And, you know, the noise, the outside noise doesn't ever, doesn't ever, you know, matter for me in that regard. So um, as far as last year, the way it ended, you know, there certainly was some motivation. So it's always unfortunate to be hampered by injury. But uh, like I said, we, we have a lot of expectations for ourselves internally. We believe that we have a lot to accomplish. And, uh, you know, we have, we have a lot of work to do to, do to get that done. So thank you very much. Thanks, guys.